We're going to talk for a moment about the haptic control in the HX Series Hyundai Excavators. Our haptic control sits right in front of the right hand armrest and behind the right hand operator control. The haptic control is this rotary dial that's here in the center. This rotary dial has tactile feedback, so as you turn it, you're going to feel detents in this control. Along with these, the primary control of the haptic control and the, or the default control is the accelerator. So as we turn the haptic control to the right, you'll see on the monitor that our accelerator is increasing. So our engine speed is increasing. We turn the haptic control to the left, then you will see that the engine speed on the accelerator is decreasing. So that's the primary function of the haptic control. Secondary to that, we have additional control features with the haptic control, one of those being air conditioning. So if I push the air con button, our air conditioner will immediately turn on. If I push it off, then our air conditioning system will turn off. Beyond that, to control the actual AC system and temperature, fan speed, and different things such as that, if we push the set button, it will bring up the actual controls on the monitor for the AC control. As you rotate the haptic control, you will see that different areas that are able to be selected change uh, and are highlighted. Now, if we were to go into this section of their, our recirculation or bringing in fresh outside air and we push down on the haptic control, we can change which is selected, whether it is recirculating or whether it's bringing in fresh outside air. Now, to back out of this menu, we would push the haptic control and actually push it to the left. So I'm going to push it to the left and we just backed out of that menu. Now we also have the ability to control other things on this monitor through the cluster. So if we were to press the cluster button you'll see that the menu has been highlighted. The next thing to the right would be our AC controls yet again and then our audio visual controls and then we have some trip monitoring that can happen as well. So in this menu, if we were to push down, it'll actually bring up our menu. So both mode, monitoring, manage, display, and utilities, where we can set additional functions within the machine. And we're moving that highlighted area by rotating the haptic control. If we push down on mode, we're actually going to jump into the mode selection screen where that we can jump in and change some different things. Now, we're going to push the cluster button one time and deselect the cluster and now the haptic control will function as the accelerator again. Now, we can also do some clicks, quick selections. So by pressing down on the haptic control um, would take us out of a menu. And if we push up, we can quickly get back to that same section of changing between uh, monitoring, manage, display, utilities, and our mode selection. So if we push left, we're going to back back out of it, push left once again, and put, get out of our cluster. If we were to push the haptic control to the right, we're actually going to bring up our rear view camera uh, immediately by pushing to the right. If you wanted to push to the left, this would back us back to this main screen. So the haptic control is a very easy feature, easy to use. It's featured in a lot of luxury automobiles, and we've brought it here to the HX Series excavators as well. Uh, when you reach forward and try to reach the monitor and you're sitting comfortably in the seat, you can see that this 8-inch touchscreen monitor is just out of reach. But with the haptic control, you can easily control the monitor and all the functions. And uh, this gives us our convenience edge within the cab of the HX Series excavator.